Now, in this lecture, we're going to focus on non-form payrolls, and I'm going to show you an example of the non-form payrolls and unemployment rate data on some chart. Now, you can remember from the previous lecture, the PMI data can be used to help to predict the non-form payrolls data. The non-form payrolls data is an extremely important data. It is a data that can make you a lot of money, okay? So it is extremely important as a Forex trader that you understand how to gain an understanding of what to expect for the non-form payrolls data. So you can use the PMI data and you can pay attention to the employment component of the PMI, which will give you an indication of what the non-form payrolls will be like. You can also use the ADP report, which will tell you what the private job sector is like so if this number is good, let's say above 160K, then we can expect a good non-farm payrolls data. We can also use the unemployment claims. And this is a data that is released every week. Every week we have unemployment claims. And we can keep track of the unemployment claims each week to get an idea of what to expect for the unemployment rate and what to expect for the non-farm payrolls and all these indicators you can find out more about all these indicators on fxstreet.com and also on forexfactory.com also you can do a google search of these indicators and you can get more information on these economic indicators now we also have the challenger job cut report this will also give you an idea of what to expect for the unemployment rate and we can also use personal spending. And this is because good personal spending data also indicates good employment. As more personal spending indicates higher employment, hence more consumers in the market spending. Okay, because if more people are employed, then there are more persons in the marketplace to spend on goods and services. So good personal spending will generally indicate good employment, okay? So we can use all these indicators to give us an understanding of what to expect for non-farm payrolls and the unemployment rate. Now let's look at some examples of the effect of non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate on the market. Now here we can see we have a non-farm payrolls data that was worse than expected. Okay, we got 215,000 when analysts were projecting 223,000. And this is very bad because the previous was 231,000. So, so this is bad for the US dollar. And this chart here, this chart you're looking at here is the Euro USD. So if the data is bad for the US dollar, we can expect the Euro USD to rise in value. Okay. And as you can see, for the employment rate, the data is the same. It's just as expected. So no surprise here. The market was expecting this. Now for the unemployment rate, the data is exactly as expected. Okay. It's not better than expected. It's not worse than expected. It's as exactly as expected. So this will not really have a great impact on the market. Okay. Because this was expected. What should have an impact on the market is the poor non-farm payrolls data. Now, again, this is the EURUSD, so bad US data should result in the EURUSD rising. Now, here is the exact time when the non-farm payrolls data was released. Okay, here is the exact time when the non-farm payrolls data and unemployment data was released. So, initially the market fell, however, the market then stopped and rallied. Initially, the Euro USD fell, which means the USD rised in value initially. However, the market then stopped and rallied. And the rally is expected because this data is bad for the US dollar. So the US dollar should decrease in value and the Euro USD currency pair should rally. Whenever the US dollar decreases in value, the Euro USD currency pair rises and whenever the US dollar increases in value, the Euro USD currency pair falls. Okay, so this was as expected, the market fell and then eventually 
rally because of the poor non-farm payrolls data release coming out of the US. So the US dollar decreased in value. Now, this is a lovely example. Here we can see we have poor non-farm payrolls data. However, we have good unemployment data. Okay, so there's a conflict here. One is bad, one is good. So in cases like this, the market will eventually move in the direction of the stronger economic indicator. And the unemployment rate is a stronger economic indicator than the non-farm payrolls. So if the unemployment rate data is good for the US, in this case, we're, we're looking at the Euro USD currency pair. If the unemployment data is good for the US, we should expect an increase in the value for the US currency, which should result in a fall in the Euro USD currency pair, which is exactly what we see here. So we got the news here, the non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate was released here at this specific time market rallied then went sideways and then eventually fell because we had better than expected employment data so in cases like this the stronger economic indicator will determine the direction of the market